Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Advanced React WooCommerce Theme Development with REST API. In the previous video, we learned about how to use these endpoints. And in this video, we're going to put them in action and we are going to basically uh, build the cart uh, page and we're going to implement the functionality of updating the cart items and also deleting the cart items. So let's begin. So let's do that. Uh, what I'm going to do is basically inside of card, we need two things, uh, delete card item and update card. So I'm going to go over to my PR pull request and I will go to the utils card, utils card. And there are some changes I've made over here, which means earlier I was calling get add or view card config. But now we've changed this to get add view. Now we've changed this to get API card config. So please uh, copy this uh, file api.js from here and paste it uh, onto your endpoint. So just small changes over here. Okay. So, so inside of cart, uh, I'm going to go ahead and view this file. Click on the raw, copy it, and then go to this cart index.js which is basically sitting under utils and then cart and then index.js okay i'm gonna go over here <coughs> paste it okay okay so this i have pasted here you also need to get this uh, update this api so let's do that close this just the api so open this file click on the raw api okay and then paste it so basically all we are doing is just changing its name okay uh, from get add or view card config to get api card config okay because we're going to reuse this at multiple places so this name doesn't make sense because it's going to be used for more than just add or view it should it would be used for updating and deleting stuff as well that's why we're renaming, renaming it to something more common generic rather than you know specifying it to add or view right so now go back to index.js and see what happens here right okay so we've made one update to the view card function which already existed before which i've explained to you in the previous episodes which is set processing so we're passing in uh, a default empty function and uh, what we're doing basically is uh, is that we're setting the set processing to false um, once once the request has been completed and the reason why we do that is because when we are performing multiple requests let's say we are updating a card and then we are getting the new card values like what is the current value of the card after that update has been made at that point we there are two requests being made so uh, set processing should only be set to false which means loading uh, we are showing the user that something is happening the loading should only be uh, set to false once the second request which is the view card request is complete that is why we're passing the set processing from here and once uh, it's done its thing once the request is complete we're setting process to false setting processing to false okay and even if there is an error we set that to false so we're just passing that here okay now going back to update card so what's happening here if you remember the update card endpoint this is the endpoint basically and it accepts certain things so remember that what we spoke about that each of the cart items like if you go to get cart and if you get the data let me just add one of these first and then let's add 71 okay so if you get go to the get cart you'll notice that each of the items has got the key cart key right so this is the cart key that we're looking for so it, it would accept that card key will accept the quantity like how much do you want to change it to so if it was two do you want to change it to four if it was four do you want to change it to five or if you want to decrement it to a three whatever that number is whatever the new number is the final number is you want to change it to that is the quantity you need to pass okay so it's not the increment or decrement value it's just that what do you want it to be now whatever it was before it doesn't care what do you want it to be now so if it was three do you want it to be now four or do you want it to be okay so pass that number here then the set card function is basically uh, a function from the context api 
uh, which you've already seen basically coming from here okay uh, so that function it'll go ahead and take that and then set updating product basically is just a state uh, function to set the state of uh, once the request is complete it'll go ahead and uh, set that to false initially set it to true okay so this function is the job of this function is to get the config which is nothing but setting the x headless cms to true um, you know getting the session and stuff all of that and then we use the put request because for the update card it's a put request as you can see over here uh, the card endpoint which is nothing but the this one right here your site url wpjson ra card items etc we use up until here oops up until here this part okay so that's your cart endpoint and the cart key so the cart key is this one and then quantity you can directly pass para pass it but pass as params either here or here so you're passing quantity there because it's expecting the quantity uh, and then the config which will contain the headers x headless cms headers uh, <coughs> so that's inside the config and then finally uh, once that is done we'll call the view card so once the updating is done we'll call the view card which is nothing but uh, this request which is going to go and get the fresh items the updated items uh, from the card what is the current state of the card is going to get that and it's also going to set that inside of the app context so the set card basically is going to set that inside of this app context so it will be available globally so all of the components which are using that um, you know con react context value that store are going to go ahead and get updated so once this view card get called after the update is done uh, anything that we have uh, over here is going to get updated you like your bag or any place else okay as as well so that's what's going to happen here um and then set updating product uh, is the <coughs> as the initial state set to false and once the request is made we're basically going to use uh, this state to let the user know that it's processing is doing its thing uh, and we don't want to allow him to make another request while the previous one is already in the process okay so that's that and that's your update card so where is it called so let me show you that if you go down in fact let me just refresh this one add to card view card and then i'm going to go to card.js and just uncomment this okay so we uncomment that now you'll see that you've got all of these cart items now may, uh, there are some css uh, issues here uh, but you can go to the uh, this pr and just get the css let me just go grab that so tailwind config copy this and i think i've already explained uh, you know all this configuration in the previous video so just paste that oops i'll just paste that there okay that's that and what else is remaining let's see so that's your tailwind are there any css thing we need to add let's see yep these guys right here style.index.css so this will go inside of styles index.css okay i think i've already explained the font and stuff and we've already added that earlier in the previous video so I'm not going to worry about adding this. You can just pick it up from the, the pull request. Okay. So you can pick up all of these uh, styles and all of these uh, typography, which I have already explained in the previous video. So I'll leave that here. Okay. All right. So ignore the CSS part right now, but uh, let's focus on what's happening here. Okay. So, all right. So that's it for this video. And in the next video, we'll continue further in the development of the card page. Okay. See you then.